See, there's always other things going on in my mind when I'm in that pub quiz. For me, it's just a little bit of fun. Sure. It's a night out. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Suzanne enjoys it. Yeah. Bit of a get together. We have a chat beforehand. Yeah. We have a bit of fun. Yeah. But there was other things on my mind. What Carl, thinking? I could do that here, I don't no, have wait, to lose a tenner. Wait, what were you thinking during the quiz then, when the questions were coming out? What were you thinking of? Well, what it was, right, just before the quiz started, I had to go to the toilet, right, because the rule is, right, people who don't go to it, once it starts, phone's off, oh, yeah, no more toilet. The room, they yeah. take it dead serious, don't yeah, they, right? Yeah, yeah, So, I went to the toilet. Now, I'm not being out of order here, it just got me thinking, right? I went to the toilet, the gay fella in there, right? There was a gay fella in there? Gay fella in the toilet. Now, well, how, how could you, you tell? How did you know? Just typical, you know, everything about it, right? It! Everything about it, right, yeah. Oh. What, large like, handlebar moustache, leather what, what, cap. But, but plugs, Amal Night Drake, could I just say that these views do not reflect the views of the management of XFM or me and Steve. Go or on, most Carl. of the people in this country. On go, you on, go. go on, Carl. What's your problem? Yeah, but this is what I'm worried about, really. But this is why I only got Danny Minogue right. <laughs> right? Because this was floating around my mind. <laughs> Went She's to the a toilet. Big icon, now, go into the toilet. They have, they have, like, men's cubicle and they have women's cubicle. Yeah. Now, without sounding out of order, is it wrong for me to think <laughs> gay men should have their own little cubicle. Go in! They should <laughs> have their own- well not cubicle, you mean an actual toilet, yeah. I suppose. When I was at the urinal, yeah. normally, you know, there's a fella there and then you go, alright, and there's no pressure. But I couldn't- I couldn't go. I was thinking, should I wait? If I go into the toilet, it'll look obvious. Yeah. I had loads of pressure and but this was going on. But what were you worried about? I'm so sorry. What were I'm you so concerned sorry, about? Viewers. I'm so well, sorry. Well, it's like, right, listen, when I was a kid, right, <laughs> And it's alright for you to go into women's toilets when you're a kid, it's like, oh, it's a bit cute, right? Yeah. As long as you're not, like, over 15 or something, right? Right. But when I was a kid, I went into a toilet, and women, when they use their little cubicles, they don't shut the door. Some of them just sit down on the- on the toilet, yeah. right? And you see everything. And, uh, <laughs> No, seriously, that's probably one of the first times I saw, like, a woman. Yeah. That, right? I mean, Auntie Nora when she was staying over. <laughs> what happened with your Auntie Nora? She was, um, she's into wearing caftans. Into wearing what? You know, caftans. Oh, what, yeah. What are caftans? Big, bellowy sort of dresses. Right, so. right. And, uh, yeah. I, I, I used to sit on the floor at home in front of the telly. Sure. She was on the chair behind. Yeah. She did a bit of a sort of a Sharon Stone scene. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Did you see it? There was no underwear. What, what age were you? What was it like? What age were you? It was like a ripped tennis ball. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> right, we're off air. We're off air. Either that will put us in for the Sonys. <laughs>
<laughs> no, but the thing is, you, you, I can't. I can't talk. You're well, saying, for Carl. you're saying like you know about would you have one toilet for lesbian women and gay fellas, right? Well, does that mean? Yeah, would it be mixed? Would it just be? Well, would it be have a? Would it have a man and one that's heterosexual man? A little picture of a woman there, and then what? What would the little icon be? To a man and a woman. A man and a woman. Just having a chat. Yeah. yeah. In pink and dark. But you, you couldn't mix them because then what would happen is you'd get people who who were going, oh, I'll, I'll play, I'll play up to this a bit. Or yeah. pretend to be gay. And yeah, you know, sort of grow a moustache and shave their head. And pretend to be a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So, so, well, I see, so you know people pretending to be gay so they could go in and have a look at the lesbians. Yeah. Right. So that would mean that we need four cubicles now, wouldn't yeah, we? Yeah, no, this is fine. Four cubicles- So, so, so every pub now- How many toilets do we need <laughs> Every pub's moment? now got four toilets. Oh, Carl, bisexuals. <laughs> yeah, now interesting. Bisexuals, how many toilets do we need now? <laughs> Call the council. Do you use any? Huh? No. No, because no. they're interested in everything, aren't they? Because a little bisexual fellow will be looking at your knob. Right. With them, yeah. what you do, you just have a door, you open it and there's one urinal there, so you can't get a queue. They have to, they have to sort of wait. I just thought, look, well why can't there just be a, a thing between the urinals? So anyone, no one can look at anyone else's knob. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just to go back to Ricky's point, what stops, even if we've got the toilet for gay men, what stops the gay men who want to have a look at your willy going in the regular toilet and pretending that yeah. they're straight. Most men don't Who's wear- Who's gonna police Don't this? wear gay across their <laughs> no, head. exactly. They don't have a tattoo. There's no branding yet in the British house where they have to declare. So we're gonna have to expand this. What so we've all got to carry, carry identity Do you, do you know cards. you can see a gay, can you? Coming a mile off. Can- no? No, I'll just hold it in next time. No, 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 no. Can you tell gay men? Do you know a gay man? I'd say, uh, probably- if you did like a- if you lined some people up yeah. and said, point them out, I reckon I'd get- But hold on, we're not talking about people dressed in leather with the arse cut out and an handlebar moustache. Yeah. We're talking about, uh, you know, the everyday no, non-scene- No, of course, oh, no. Well, well, yeah. But I mean, uh, suppose I put you in a room and there was ten naked men, right? Yeah. And uh, could you- there's five gay men and five heterosexual. Could you walk along that line looking at those gay- uh, Am I naked? No, you don't have to be naked. Why would you have to be naked? To catch him out. <laughs> Play a record! How would you catch them out? <laughs> no, no, don't go into it! Don't go into it! Don't go into it! Play a record.